Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be walking through an overview of Dynamics 365 for financials. Dynamics 365 is a business management solution for small and mid-sized organizations that automates and streamlines business processes and helps you manage your business. This solution will undoubtedly increase productivity and efficiency for all members of your organization. Now let's take a high level look at Dynamics 365. We'll begin on the home page. Each user's home page may look different depending on the role center assigned to them. If we navigate to the My Settings area, we can see the various options within here, including the role center option. We are currently set as the business manager, but if we select here, we can see there are currently five role centers to choose from. Depending on the user's role in the company, the proper role center can be selected. Back within My Settings, we can see the other settings available. First, we see the company setting. This is convenient if we are working in multiple companies and need a fast way to switch between our companies. Next is our work date. This will default to today's date, but can be changed if you need to be able to perform tasks, such as completing transactions for a date that is not the current date. The next area within My Settings is the Confirmation Dialogs. We can use these options if the user wants to specify some additional checks for posting documents. These options are checked as a standard but can be cleared to avoid getting specific warnings or messages if desired. We'll now go back and discuss an overview of the home page for this role center. On the left, we can see the navigation pane, which gives us quick access to our customers, vendors, and items. But we can also select the drop down and see other areas of the software that we can quickly navigate to if necessary. On top, we see our ribbon with various buttons available. The information within the ribbon will change depending on what screen you are on within Dynamics 365. We can see various information, but we can see some main information on this home screen ribbon within the setup group. Next, we can take a look at the activities and the tiles within this area. We can see our ongoing sales, as well as a quick start area for certain documents such as sales quotes and purchase invoices. One cool feature within the activities area is the ability to set up queues to give the user a visual representation of aggregated business data, such as number of open sales invoices or total sales for the month. If we select Setup Queues, we can see how we can define these depending on various thresholds within our business. The next area on the home page is the Key Performance Indicators area, or KPI. If we select this area, we can see a variety of options. First, we can select the chart we'd like to see displayed. We can see there are a variety of charts available. A different chart can easily be selected to see a variety of data from the home page. We can now see the chart here and also have the ability to change the period length if we desire to see a different range of dates. Also on the home page is the ability to see our favorite accounts. This area displays selected accounts and their balances for quick reference. The accounts displayed can easily be updated by simply selecting the drop-down and then selecting Manage List. We can also quickly open the account card for the selected account by choosing Open. Next, we have the Trial Balance area. This gives us a quick glance at our trial balance with descriptions and a listing of the period being displayed. If we'd like to see different periods displayed, 
we can simply click the drop down and select previous or next period. Lastly, on the main home page is the report inbox. This area will display reports that have been scheduled to run at a specific date and time via the job queue. As we can see here, we have our balance sheet and income statement reports that have been created. We can choose to view the report by selecting the ellipses and then selecting show. We can then open the PDF to view the document. The last feature I'd like to demonstrate is the search functionality. This feature allows you to find any page or report or view by selecting the icon in the top right corner of the address bar. As you can see, when I start typing characters, a drop-down list shows page names containing the information I am typing. The drop-down list changes as I type more information and then I can select the correct page from the list when it is displayed. One thing to note with the search function is that it does not search through data, such as customer names, addresses, or transactions. All of the features contained on the home page make Dynamics 365 for Financials a wonderful tool for small and mid-sized businesses. The ease of use and the ability to use Dynamics 365 from any device make this the perfect, affordable solution for businesses looking to increase productivity and efficiency within their workplace. This concludes this demonstration on Dynamics 365 for Financials. Thank you for watching and have a great day.